Howdy champs, my name is Moidan People. Today I'm going to show you how to create a jQuery UI tooltip. Let's straight away start off with the browser preview in Google Chrome. Now this word tooltip is going to throw up a tooltip. You see the tooltip actually appears and uh, it's in that rounded cornered rectangle where it actually says that's what this tooltip is, right? So it pulsates and then it actually appears and when you remove the word from the tooltips it disappears right so we're gonna learn how to actually do that now look at the text which says hey there tooltips can be attached to any element uh, actually attached it to a paragraph or to be more specific uh, a link tag uh, but you can attach it to any element and when you hover over the element with your mouse the title attribute is then displayed in a little box as in our case that rounded cornered box next to the element just like a native tooltip right not only uh, can we change the effect right now it's set to pulsate I can have the effect change quite easily I can also change the theme there are several uh, jQuery UI themes I'm using the theme called pepper grinder I can just change this word and change it to a different theme let's try sunny out okay so that's SSNN SUNNY sunny right let's try this out so this is sunny and this was uh, uh, pepper grinder right. let's try I think it's called overcast it appear, appears a little differently just by changing the theme name you know there are radical changes so you see it pulsates and then this is uh, overcast this is sunny this was pepper grinder then we have something called redmond and there's so many more you can just google or search jquery ui theme roller and you'll get the exact names of all the different themes that we have just change the name from here and uh, you'll get the desired result people I'm gonna bundle up everything, all the assets. In fact, they're not many, they're just two. An externally lying JS file and the HTML document. I'm gonna zip it up and uh, it'll be available as a free download from my website, http colon forward slash forward slash qualitylessons.net forward slash downloads one dot html. Cool. So let's see how this was actually done. Also, people, if I go to the externally lying JS file, the only externally lying JS file, uh, you see the effect right now has been set to pulsate. I can change it to a fade or a drop or a slide down, and there are so many more effects. You can just uh, look around for jQuery UI effects, and you'll get a complete list of it. In fact, let's just show you drop for a moment. Let's see how this actually appears. there you go that's drop people kind of uh, sliding in from the left hand side let's show you explode also people you can uh, alter the delay to a different number so the animation is gonna kick start after so many milliseconds let's see how this works It's more like implode, joining in, fu you know, fusing in into one single entity, right? So when I uh, zip all my files, this is one of the file ext.js externally lying js, and uh, yep, all you need to do is just uh, make some alteration here or here. You can try the blind effect, the slide down effect, and some other effects too, and uh, use whatever pleases you. Some people like it really simple, something like a fade. That's really simple. There you go. And uh, as I've discussed earlier, if uh, you go to the HTML document, this is the word that you need to alter and change the theme to something like Redmond or Dot Love 
or pepper dash grinder or UI lightness, UI smoothness and the uh, you know there are so many themes. In fact uh, check for jQuery UI theme roller. Google it up, search it up and check the names of all the different themes that we have in use the theme name out here to alter the theme. Right. So let's discuss the HTML document first before we will discuss the ext.js file which is very very simple. Now people have used HTML5 doc type uh, language attribute set to English here is the header opening head and we have a meta UTF-8 going out here this is all very standard people this is uh, the title in fact instead of saying default functionality animated let's change it to animated functionality now people we have a link tag going which is actually linking to obviously a CSS file and this is the CSS file now this CSS file is not residing on your server or the local hard disk as you can very clearly see it starts with HTTP it's, it's a file that's lying on the web it's, it's been offloaded to the web and it's pointing to that so all you need to do is just keep the relationship style sheet a ref href attribute set to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and point to this uh, URL code dot jQuery dot com UI 1.10.3 themes dot overcast dot jQuery dash UI dot CSS you always use the link tag to connect to an externally lying uh, CSS file whether it's on your hard disk or whether it's a web URL as in our case cool then we have a couple uh, of script tabs uh, tags going which are actually pointing to uh, jQuery 1.9.1 JS file so basically the JavaScript library and the JavaScript UI library so that's http colon forward slash forward slash code dot jquery dot com ui 1.10.3 so that's the uh, jquery ui library so we obviously to use jquery and jquery ui jquery ui which was built on top of jquery uh, to add additional effects uh, obviously you need to point to these two packages or libraries jQuery and jQuery UI. Again, people, I'm not using a physical file, but I'm pointing to a URL on the internet on the web using HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and this link. That's very, very easy. And uh, in the end, people, we are pointing to an ext.js file which is actually residing on the hard disk, which obviously you need to upload to the server for the effects to take place. Again, the type is text JavaScript, and this is the ext.js file. I've used a little bit of uh, internal or embedded style people. You have to create a rule called UI tooltip, and then you need to set the font size. People, if you want to have a bigger text for the tooltip, change this uh, value from a 12 to a 14 or a 16 or whatever that suits your taste. Let's say 15, and let's see how things look like right now in Google Chrome there you go so uh, very very simple to alter uh, this value and see the desired result right and uh, in the end people let's get inside the opening and the closing uh, body tags where we just have one single paragraph uh, inside which we have the anchor tag now this title which is uh, going with the anchor tag which is pointing to href a null link basically uh, just put a a hash sign out there so it doesn't actually work like a link people strictly speaking just gives you that underline uh, and the blue color give it a title tag now this title tag is gonna appear as the tooltip so this is the anchor tag anchor tag being uh, anchor tag being closed so this title is gonna be the tooltip and it's gonna act according to the uh, theme roller theme and the effect that we have specified in the ext.js file so very simple people and uh, so basically the tooltip can be attached to any element in our case it's the anchor within p i could have used a h1 out here or whatever and when you hover over the element with the mouse the title attribute is then displayed in a little box next to the element just like a native tooltip uh, following instructions given by the theme and the effect that you can actually alter so fade could have been slide down 
2 or could have been blind uh, could have been drop as we have already seen and this delay is the kickstart time for the animation to begin which could have been 100 or 500 or whatever uh, that suits your taste buds so people uh, before I wind the tutorial let's quickly understand the ext.js file it's very very simple when the document is actually ready to be manipulated just fire this function it's a very simple function in the end people uh, let me uh, remind you once again that you can download all the assets from http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads one that's number one dot html uh, I hope you like this tutorial I hope you'll sub you you'll comment you'll thumb it up and I'll also hope that you'll keep coming back for more and more tutorials from me you have a good day bye bye peace